Hey guys, it's Chris from Wiring Specialties here, and today we're going to go over some of the soldering basics. Everyone is in a jam from time to time and does not always have access to professional wiring equipment, so today I'm going to show you how to make your soldering look professional while using a standard soldering iron. In this video, I'm going to be using a standard soldering iron, which can be found at any automotive or electrical parts store, wire strippers, heat shrink tubing, flux, a lighter, or if you have access to it, a heat gun, solder, and then of course the wire in which you'll be soldering. To begin, take the wire that you're going to be soldering and remove the ends using the wire strippers. Now is the most important part of the soldering process which is priming the wire. This is done using the flux. A myth I would like to point out right now is that wire tying or wrapping the wires together will actually make the, the solder stronger. However, that's not always the case because solder is actually stronger than the wire itself. To prime the wire, take a little bit of solder using the, so using the soldering iron and apply gently to each of the ends. These wires are now prepped. Once the wires have been prepped, align them in a parallel fashion, making sure that both ends are not pointing out. This could cause the heat shrink tubing to rip or a bulge in the solder. From underneath, grab some solder once more and apply it to the location that is being soldered. Once the wire has cooled, we will now move on to the heat shrink tubing. In this example, I'll be using the lighter. Cut the heat shrink tubing to about three quarters of an inch, which should be enough to cover the solder location. Slide the heat shrink tubing over the solder, and then using the lighter, move it back and forth, making sure that you do not move into the blue portion of the flame. The heat shrink tubing is now applied. In this example, I will now show you how to use the heat gun to apply the heat shrink tubing. As before, cut roughly three quarters of an inch of heat shrink tubing and slide over the solder location. The heat gun should have a shield on the back to ensure that the heat shrink tubing is applied evenly. Although some may use electrical tape or other types of covers on open wires, it is always highly recommended to go with heat shrink tubing as it prevents corrosion at the ends of each of the wires. There's also varieties of adhesive heat shrink tubings which will help you even more.